Hi guys, Karen Pisueto. Welcome to Strength Workout. Today we are going to be doing a circuit type strength workout using a light to medium and medium to heavy set of dumbbells where we will be performing nine exercises for 40 seconds on with a 20 second rest in between, ending with some core and of course some stretching. Are you ready to get started? All right guys, we're gonna get started with a little warm up. Let's give a slight bend in the knee, roll in the shoulders down, around and back. Just getting the body ready, getting the body warmed. And then come with me for a nice tall inhale, lifting up. Exhale, let that out. Let's do that one more time as you inhale, nice big stretch. And then exhale, we're gonna come down right into a squat position, dropping the hips, drop this seat and rising up. A little lower down and returning. Now watch your change, you're gonna come down and then give me a little heel raise as you come up. A little lower, heel raise. Four more here for four. And three, get ready. Two and one, changing the arms. We're gonna step, squat up to that high row. So you're gonna lower down and pull. Upper back rear delts, getting the upper body ready here with the legs. Four more here for four, three, you have it guys, two. And one, stepping one leg back into a lunge position, squaring your hips down. We're gonna lower down to that lunge, rise up. Pressing through that front heel, squeezing the buttocks, arms. Let's add a little reach overhead, down and rise. Eight more here, eight, seven, six, five more, five, four, Three, you have two more for me. Two, final one, we're gonna come all the way down, hands behind the head, elbows wide, little twist. Over that bent knee. And the legs don't wanna move for this one. Rotation's happening from that upper body. Getting the obliques ready. The entire torso. Three more here, three, two, one more. One, meet me back to center, switch. Opposite leg comes front. And opposite leg comes back. We're gonna lunge this time on the way up. Hug the moon, arms come overhead and down. Seven, you have it. Six, pressing through that front heel. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Holding that lunge down, legs to 90, hands wrap gently behind, and exhale, twist over that bend. And twist. Six more here, six. Five, waking that body up. Four, three, two, and one. Meet me center. You're gonna take that back leg, opposite hand is gonna reach for the toe. So we get a little more hamstrings, getting into the shoulder joints with that overhead motion. Four more. Are we ready, guys? Three, two, and one. You're gonna grab your medium to heavy set of dumbbells. We're starting with a squat into rotation. So hold the load, you're gonna come down to a squat and you're gonna give me a little rotation up and arms come overhead. Okay, I want you to think of glutes, hamstrings with that squat. Of course the deltoids are working here with the shoulder press. But furthermore, adding that little twist, we got some oblique work. We're working the transverse. Right, that's your imaginary little girl around your waist. Down and up. Sit it low, little pivot to that shoulder press. And return. Take these same weights, bring them to the corners of your mat, and we're gonna go into a crescent lunge with a single arm row. So you're gonna turn to one side, you're stepping. The inside arm holds that load, and you're gonna come for two rows in a row. Place that weight down and switch. Are we ready? Let's go. Coming down. Two rows. Return the weight and lift. All right, so on that crescent lunge, knees over the heel, squeezing the mid back for that row. You get those mid back muscles working. You get some lats and biceps along with that mid back. Let's go. Pull it in, guys. Full body workout few minutes out of your day, right? Can keep you really strong, powerful, and set you up for a really productive day here. Let's go, we're moving. One more, can you give me one more? 
But we're gonna go on to that next exercise. There it is. Good. Shake that out. All right, next set. We're coming down to the mat for our planks. So adding a four tap into a push up. Holding plank, you're tapping. Four, three, two. Now you can come to the knees. I'll show you that option one. Elbows slightly out to the side, chest down, and press up off the knees and four taps. One, two, three, and one push up. Either on or off. I'll show you both options. You want to make sure here you're pushing through the floor. The shoulder girdle is nice and stable. The neck's not falling down. Good. Right, modification. This might just be a plank hold. You can always break my move down and make it where you're in a good position for you. Staying strong and safe. And return. Good job. Coming back up. Now you need your lighter set of dumbbells. It's a reverse lunge to a lateral raise. So I'm going to show you here. You're going to step that right leg back, coming out to a side raise, and switch. Are we ready? Let's step that out. Legs to 90. Then we bring the low to the side and switch legs. Stepping out. Side lateral arms and return. Again, lower. Lift. Pressing through that front heel, that front seat. All right, you got the medial deltoid as you bring the arms out. And you're thinking of core two here, big time, to hold that stable position. Good. Nice and fluid. How we feeling? Looking strong, guys. You got this. Let's go. Down and up. Almost there. Last one. And little rest. You're going to keep the same load. We're coming to a squat, a curtsy, lunge, and bicep curl. So you're going to come here. Little squat in your center. And curtsy to the opposite direction. I'll be ready. we got 40 seconds. Shoulders down and back. Get set and go. Curtsy to a hammer curl. Squat. Curtsy to hammer curl. Chest is up. Abdominals are strong. Sit down. Fire those glutes and quads. Hamstrings. Bend on that curl. Think arms. But what is your core doing here to stabilize you, right? You have to stay strong so you're not collapsing that torso. There it is. Down. Curtsy with that bicep. Less than 10 seconds, guys. You have it. We're moving. Waking up those legs. Waking up those arms. And release. Same load. Overhead shoulder press. So I want the form nice and controlled so you're not bouncing, you're not pivoting the hips or moving the pelvis. You're going to step shoulder press to a side leg. Okay, you're really bouncing on that standing leg position, and then you press out. Let's go, here's our 40. Woo, my arms are waking up for sure now. Hey, if this feels too much, just don't do the side leg. Just focus on the arms. You can always do an alternating arm overhead. All right, but this is a good one because it gets your stability being challenged on that one leg position. There it is, guys, you have it. Go, go, go. 10 seconds, that's it. How are we feeling? Almost there. Five, four, two, one more, and rest. Great job. Okay, we're gonna go medium load. So what is that for you? Side lateral lunge, looks like this. Bicep curl, shoulder press, and then we go to the other side. So you want to be challenged with the weight, but able to control it. Let's go. Side lateral, the buttocks goes down. At a tap, overhead press. Sitting to one side, coming together. You get your side abductors working here. A little bit of inner thigh, glue of course. And look at those biceps here. And then we got the shoulder. So full body exercise. Loving the fact that we get some lateral movement in. Right, because as you guys know, we're so used to walking, running, sitting at a desk, a lot of forward movements. So working in different planes is super important to keep you safe 
and strong. And return. Now you just need one dumbbell. All right, so you're gonna go into a plie with an overhead tricep, tricep extension. Legs are out, your arms are up, shoulders down. Holding that weight securely. We're gonna lower down, bend the elbows, exhale, squeeze the back of the arms. Let's go down. That weight comes to the base of the neck. The gaze is slightly down. Push through the legs and exhale. Push through the back of that arm. Right into that tricep. Squeeze it. There it is. Take it up. All right, guys. How we doing? You've got 20 seconds. In this wider plie stand, you get more glute, you get more inner thighs, those adductors, than your basic squat. Focusing here, pressing up, controlling that load. We're moving. Four more. Three, two, how the arms. And one, we're coming down to the floor for your final exercise. So it's a plank with a side bag on top of those legs. Palms under the shoulders, again, squeezing under the armpits. So you're nice and stable, holding a long spine, and you're gonna begin to tap. All right, listen, if that feels too much, you're gonna stay to a knee and tap the back. All right, that always works. Let's go. Got 40 seconds, challenging guys, yourself, where you need to be. All right, if you need more, your last set, give me a little hop. Little plank jacks, finishing strong. Those arms should be burning a little bit here. We got it. Push to the finish. All right, you're tapping, you're jacking. Most importantly, noticing your form, not letting the pelvis drop. Let's go, arms are burning, four more. Three, two, and one. Excellent job. We're coming down for some ab work, for some core. Let's begin with some bridges, guys. So as you're lying to the floor, heels are under the knees. Press the palms down. And we're going to come right up. So we're going to squeeze the butt and lift. Great exercise here for glutes and hamstrings and the back, the low back, the rectus spinae your transversus, which is that imaginary belt, the muscle that wraps around your core, right? It's not just important about doing crunches. You have to work everything, front and back. Four more here, squeeze the booty up. Three more, three, and your hip bones wanna be even here. Two, last one, you're gonna hold this one up, and then we're gonna lower that all the way down. Hands gently behind the head, shoulders off the ears, and we're coming into a little curl. You're gonna bring the right leg in and down. Left leg in and tap. Good. Little lift, let's go up and down. Now changing this, you're just gonna hold the right leg. So we're gonna curl in, stretch it out. Notice I'm staying in the curl for this one. Bring the chest lifted, chin is off that chest for four. Look at the belly. For three, reach it. Two, reach, and one. Come all the way down. Opposite leg, prepare, shoulders down and back. Lift to the curl, lifting up to that knee, stretching it out. Trying to get the shoulder blades off, right? But there's no pressure pressing into that neck. Your abdominals are doing the work. Four more. If the leg is too much, don't do the leg. Three, two, and one. Can we bring that down? Straighten the legs. Cross one ankle over the other. Shoulders down and back, inhale. On your exhale, flexing the spine, lifting and lowering. This is a good one because your hip flexors get to relax a little bit. Where we hold a lot of tightness in our hips, right? Four more. Three, two, and one. We're gonna bring that down. A little switch, are we ready? Shoulders off those ears. On that exhale, lift, looking at the belly, eight. Again, there's that lemon under chin and chest so you're not dropping it. Five, can you lift the shoulder blades off from behind a little higher? Three more, my belly's starting to burn. Three, two more, two. We're almost done, we're almost done. And one, come all the way in, bend your legs. And you're gonna bring one leg tabletop and the other leg, shoulders down and back. Flex and lift to the curl, hold the right leg in, the left leg extend out, wide elbows. Twist to that bent knee and switch, and switch. Okay, so we're not rushing through this, we're thinking of the length of the legs, twisting and working through the obliques. See, we have eight more guys, we're finishing eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Let's let the legs come down, open your knees to the side. Let the weight of the legs open your hips, open your palms, and breathe, inhaling through the nose. And as you exhale, just relax. Let's try that one more time, inhaling. And exhale, release. Bringing the legs in together. We're gonna just take that right leg, cross it over the left. We'll reach through the legs, pull them in toward you for a little figure four stretch. Feeling the right leg, your performance, your glute muscles. You're super tight here. You're gonna feel that screaming back at you, saying good morning. Just breathe, don't force, don't bounce. And then let's switch gently, letting that go. And take the opposite leg to cross over, reaching through the legs. Taking a few breaths here and hold. You guys did awesome. Take a few minutes after your day, guys. Just to start a workout, you'll feel so much better. Not only in your body, but your mindset, right? It gets you more productive for the day. It sets you up to eat better, to eat healthier. I know when I get that morning workout in, it sets my body up, my mindset. So thank you for joining me. Let's release that all the way. We're gonna come up just finishing here on all fours. So starting on all fours, inhale. And then your exhale, rounding through the spine. And let that go. And then find a little in-between tabletop. Tuck the toes, press off the knees, pedal right heel and pedal left heel. Feeling the calf muscles, feeling the hamstrings. Just pedal one by one. And then together we press the heels, the hips lift a little higher and breathe. Let's bend the knees slightly. You're gonna come up to stand slowly. So we're walking the fingertips in. Draw the knee within the spine one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders come down, around, and back. And let's take a nice tall breath as you inhale. And exhale, let that out. Can we do that one more time? I want you to inhale, noticing your strength, noticing your hard work and exhale to release. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me today for that quick, efficient strength workout. Keep working hard, guys, and I will see you real soon for another workout. Take care.